everybody it's Nicole okay so uh, this shouldn't take long for me to film um, it is going to be the start of kind of a couple of step uh, process with this project um, my said my son said he wants to help a little bit so what I am going to be doing today is uh, first uh, we're going to be pouring uh, uh, two-part resin into um, smaller molds and then um, when I believe that they are at the soft cure stage I am going to pull them out and then um, kind of squish them a little bit um, and we'll see how things go uh, so right now we are going to use my chameleon powders and then um, we're going to, I've already poured the uh, resin, but I haven't mixed it yet. And I'm gonna color it black. And then I'm going to um, uh, mix it. And then I'm gonna uh, pour it in. So first I'm going to uh, show you how we're gonna color it with the chameleon powder. And then um, we're going to um, color it black and then pour it. So like I said, this shouldn't be very long and um, and then we'll, we'll see how uh, it is when, uh, when I think it's soft cured um, because I don't know how this is gonna work with the weather. Uh, Cause when I poured the resin into the measuring cup, it came out super, super thick and we have been having uh, really cold temperatures so uh, things may be a little off on the timing. So it may take me a couple of tries in this experiment. So you'll have to be a little patient with me um, on this little experiment. Cause after this step, I'm gonna take it out when it's uh, soft cured. We're gonna, uh, I want to kind of, uh, you know, play with it and all that while wearing gloves, obviously, and then put it into a different mold and then pour uh, clear resin on top of it so it's kind of like a display piece and all of that stuff. So I'm going to shut this off and then we're gonna get going with the chameleon powder. Okay? Okay, so stop. Stop with the cat. Okay, so first off, I just want to show you um, this is the epoxy resin. Uh, I've just poured out just a little bit, just an ounce. Cause we, I don't even know if we'll even use that. Um, and I haven't mixed it yet. This is my chameleon powders. Um, in the like move, I think some of them came open. So some of the uh, little containers were open. So I had to clean them off. And then this is a uh, liquid uh, color that we're gonna put in the resin. So that's another thing that we're gonna have to factor in when it comes to uh, the resin is to add that particular type of coloring, which I, I'm sure you guys uh, have never seen me use before. So, um, if you're gonna help me, you need to put gloves on. Okay, so we are putting on gloves. If it doesn't fit, sorry. It might be a little snug because they're snug for me. These are extra small. So we'll see how these work. Is it gonna work? No? If you can't get it on, you and I can just do the powders and I'll do the resin. It's not gonna fit. I don't want you to rip it and waste it. Yeah, so it's come on, enough. let's just do the, uh, it's good enough. huh? Good enough. No, it's not, come on. <laughs> okay, so the gloves didn't fit on him, but they fit on me. Um, so we are going to do the chameleon powder. Um, so we're just gonna pick out a couple of colors. Okay, so let's do um, champagne. So 
So I told him, uh, and then let's do blue and um, plum. Okay. Um, so we're, I want to do just uh, three of the no uh, snowflakes, and then I'm going to do one dragon. And the dragon, I'm not going to fill all the way to the top, not even close to the top. So first, um, we are going to do the powders. So I'm gonna I'll sprinkle the powder and then um Take that and then just spread it around in the snowflake. You gotta hold on to it. A little bit goes a long way. And then the next one um, we will do in champagne. do this one <coughs> bless you thank you This side. Okay, and then the last one is going to be in blue. Maybe. Um, and the other thing is, is if the resin doesn't uh, harden all the way, that's okay too, as long as it's not liquid, uh, because I can still use it in the bigger mold um, because of the kind of project that I'm like trying to accomplish. And if it has to be, um, I'll pour again. <laughs> This one. Yeah. You miss this part. <laughs> okay. Go blow your nose. And then come back. Quick. Quick. Okay, so, and then this is uh, the gold. And then when he comes back, he can finish up the dragon. The weather has been 
wonky here. I'm sure you guys probably know, I'm sure wherever you are, the weather has been wonky. Um, so, um, like yesterday was in negative degrees and we got a lot of snow. Today is definitely warmer. Um, the snow is still on the ground, um, but unfortunately, uh, no snow plows. Here, you can finish up the rest. Just do the rest. Um, so, uh, it, while well, it t didn't take me too long to get to the doctor's appointment today, uh, it de definitely took me longer than it would normally have. So I was kind of surprised. It's just funny because my doctor, uh, doctor's office called to make sure I was still coming in. I think she forgot that I lived in Minnesota for 11 years and that, um, this is nothing new for, uh, for me. Just new as in how the state uh, handles the snow when it does fall. So, okay. So. All right. I'll take care of the rest, kiddo. Okay, so uh, this is the resin. Uh, like I said, it's about a little, it's a little over an ounce. Um, and then this is uh, a liquid color uh, in black. So I want to see, let's, I think I'm going to have to cut the top off. Okay, everybody. So I cut the top off of my coloring and it like literally exploded. It got all over my gloves. It went all over my garbage. All over the floor, oh my lord. I'm gonna have to do, like, I'm gonna have, I think I got most of it, but I'm gonna have to do a better job with something else. So anyway, I just need to get this done. Um, and no, I wasn't squeezing it when, I, I don't know if it has to do with the weather or whatever, but I have never ever seen coloring do that before. So, okay, so I added the color, I just added, uh, two drops to it and let's see what I get. I'm gonna just uh, start stirring and see how the color turns out and because I want it like really opaque. I don't want it gray, I want it black. So I am going to keep adding it until I get it to the color that I want. Okay, so that's two more drops. And so it's a good thing I was at least wearing gloves and that was, I, act, I cut the top open over the garbage because otherwise I probably would have ended up spraying it and wearing it. Um, so, okay, so. I am not a happy person at the moment because of what just happened. Okay, so I think I just need a little bit more and I think I'll be okay. That's the only thing um, with some of these colors is when you get them, especially when you have to open them, I've noticed that you just don't know what's gonna happen when you open the colors. And oh, I don't think I've ever had this happen before. So, all right, I'm just trying to get this to the color that I want and to get this um, also stirred as well as I can. I'm just stirring, trying to get an idea to make sure that this is mixed well enough. I can't believe, honestly, oh, can this day not go any worse? 
I nearly ate it on the way out to the car and back from the car um, at the house and at the doctor's office and to have blood drawn. <sighs> Just nonsense. Okay, so I think this is enough. Okay, so now I am just going to uh, get the resin in the mold. And I am not going for pretty, I am just going for filled. Um, I'll make it look uh, better when I pull it out because um, oh, cause also my hands, oh are not cooperating i will um take off the extras when i pull it out when it's soft cured i hate having the tremors honestly i don't know why they're happening um and the other thing is is that uh my pcp today said that i need to talk to my uh, rheumatologist about my medication because she's felt that I had lost too much weight um, that by BMI is at 19% uh, and she said 18 is considered anorexic and I lost seven pounds since I last saw her which was just last month um, and I looked to see when I had the prescription fill filled the fill, my new medication was filled on the 22nd. Um, so it's been almost a month. So anyhow, that's beside the point. Okay, so now we're gonna fill, let me move this over. As I get drips everywhere, I am going to fill this mold, not all the way, but part of the way. just enough to get me what I need. That's the nice thing about working with the popsicle stick is being able to get it to where you need. Like I said, it doesn't, I don't, I mean, it's not even close to an ounce. So I'm going to end up probably um, pouring this into the other mold just with no chameleon powder. Apologize for the shaking. This is actually what I used to do all the time um, with resin. I used to sit in my craft room for hours and just do this and not really making anything for anybody. I used to have like stacks of resin pieces just like as like to sell to people if they wanted for their resin uh cases or or for their like key, you know phone cases or um if they wanted me to turn it into keychains i would do that for them for free or i'd make them into keychains for myself so i'm just kind of this is yeah hours upon end of this and yes um if you're noticing there are bubbles and i am going to pour the rest of this in here and that was enough okay so, all 
Okay, so we are good to go with that. Um, I did bring paper towels. Messy, messy, messy. Okay, so uh, thank you for sticking with me uh, with my shaky hands and all of this nonsense drama. Um, and hopefully everything turns out the way I want it to. If it doesn't, then um, you will be seeing another video watching me re-pour. Um, because, I, yeah, insanity. Okay, so uh, if you got this far with me, I hope you enjoy this chaos of a video um, and will join me in the next one. And uh, subscribe, uh, hit the like button, leave a comment, and uh, uh, hit the notification so you know every time I upload and all of that fun stuff. Uh, if you haven't watched um, my second to the previous video from this, I, I do have a giveaway going on until the 24th. Um, and uh, you do have to watch to the end of the video in order to enter. Uh, and uh, anyway, that's that. Uh, we're going to close the book on this because I am, yeah, I'm, <laughs> this is chaos. Okay, so I will see you in my next video. Um, and hopefully uh, we will have moved on to the next step. Uh, and then we will go from there. Uh, until the next one, I will see everybody later. Bye.